Draymond, you're the emotional center of this team, but have you felt that you've needed to ratchet up the intensity without Steph uh, playing? Have you felt a responsibility there? I mean, you know, obviously I think everything has to be ratcheted up. I don't, you know, go out there and say, I got to do this, I got to do that more. You know, um, we all have to. And that's, you know, that's the entire team. More defense, you know, everybody got to be more involved on the offense. And then, you know, we, Steph brings so much to the table that one guy isn't going to do what he do, you know. So we, we all have to step it up collectively, and everybody's been doing that. Jerry, on first row to your right, I had asked Steve a few minutes ago about whether any of the players had said anything to each other about needing to come together and to really step up their game to get locked in without Steph. He said nothing that he heard, but he's pretty sure you would have said something anyway. Did you? What, what was said within the locker room about about playing well at this point without Steph? I just told the guys, you know, um, that we got to come out with a defensive mindset, you know, and that's pretty much it. You know, I think we can pretty much just stay solid and, you know, get good stuff on the offensive end. But, you know, against this team, we just got to come out with the defensive mindset, you know, when Steph's not out there. You know, it's, you know, when when Steph's out there, we can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with anybody for offense and probably have the advantage, you know. But when he's not out there, you got to get it done on the defensive end. So if it's anything, really just telling the guys come out. Don't worry about any offense. We'll get what we need on the offense and come out with a defensive mindset. And I think we did that tonight. That was a few days ago when he first went out, or that was today? Ah, uh, that was really today. You know, as the series changed, everything changes. You know, I think, you know, the thing that we was preaching against Houston was ball movement, you know, and, and cutting. Um, you know, so, you know, against this team, it's really just straight defensive minded. And all, like I said, offense will take care of itself. Draymond, well, speaking about defensive minded, you had the big flaw at Lillard pretty early. And maybe said some things afterwards. What does a play like that do you think do for a team? I didn't Super say too much or nothing. <laughs> 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 you know what, it, it's, you know, it really sets the tempo of the game. You know, it's, you're not gonna come in here and just get layups. You know, you're not gonna come in here and get anything easy. And, you know, so you just really try to bring that force, you know, that force to the game that we need. And, you know, and I ain't saying that. Dame isn't gonna go eight for 26 every game. And, you know, CJ's not gonna go five for 17. So. That being said, we got to continue to improve. And, you know, I think, you know, we did a good job on the defensive end. Now, you know, Stotts is a great coach and they have some great players, you know, so they're going to make adjustments. We got to be ready to adjust with their, make adjustments to their adjustments on Tuesday. Hi, Jim. I'm Helen from Sina, China. Uh, congratulations on the triple double digits in this playoff. I wonder, were you counting for that or you just try to step up, help the team win? Thank you. Um, and no, I don't, I don't. I didn't come out here saying hey, I need to get a triple double. You know, I come out saying I need to do whatever it takes. You know, to help our team get a win. And you know, tonight that was a little bit of everything. And so, you know, it's. Um, I've tried going for a triple double before. It didn't quite work out. You know, so, you know, when it if it happens, then oh well, it happens. If not, who cares? You know, that's not going to win us the game. Me getting a triple double. You know, um, what wins us the game is what. What we played 13 guys tonight. <laughs> when all 13 guys stepped on the floor and did, everybody brought energy. You know, from you know Anderson Barrage, who hasn't played much lately, coming in and giving us a huge lift off the bench. You know, so it was um, <clears throat> it was very important that you know everybody step up, and that's what went us the game, not a triple double. Uh, tonight was your third triple double against the Blazers in five meetings this year. Is, is that coincidental, or is there a vulnerability that you detected in your closing? Uh, I think it's really just a coincidence. Um, you know, it's guys are really cutting. You know, and I find open man. I don't think it's necessarily something that I find. I said, oh, they're vulnerable here um, because it's been different guys matched up on me each game anyway. So, you know, I think it's really just coincidental. Hi, Jay Ma. Here, Alan from Tencent, China. So. You talk about the defense, but on the offense end, like, do you try to be extra aggressive without step, or you just let the game come to you? I, I don't think I was really any more aggressive than I've been, you know, other than, you know, I think I, when I got the ball in the post, I kind of took advantage of that a little bit more today. But other than that, I just let the game come to me. Um, I think the first seven, eight minutes of the game, I had took one shot, you know, so I don't come out saying, oh, I need to be way more aggressive. Um, the aggressiveness comes with the ball movement. When the ball is flying around like it like it was today, then you know I get the ball in, in good position, and you know I'll be a little more aggressive then. Ethan on the left, uh, Bogut and Clay right before you came up, 
Bogut called you the best all-around player in the league, Clay nodded. Is that a title that you're comfortable with? Is that something that you believe yourself? Um, I'm comfortable with it. You know, I'm not really <laughs> one that's not too comfortable with much. But um, I think there's a lot of great all-around players in the game. You know, I'll never, you'll never hear me call myself that. You know, but they're going to call me that. I'll take. I'm not going to shy away from it. On the right, Monty. Draymond, uh, game three in Houston, you had the turnovers, and Clay was over seven from three. Since then, it's like a total flip. What's happened? Is it mental or is it physical? What are the changes you guys have made to get to the, where you want to be, where you are right now? Well, you know, I think uh, it's mental and physical. You know, mentally, um, just making simple play. And I think I still had a couple turnovers tonight that I shouldn't have had. You know, just making a simple play. Uh, coming down, if it's not there, just move the ball on. You know, not trying to make some too much happen that we don't have to do. And, you know, with Clay, I think he's just settled in. You know, guys are finding him in good positions, but, you know, he's been just flying around. You know, if you watch Clay, he's just, he's everywhere. He's all over the place. He's back cutting. He's flying off screens. And, you know, when he's flying around like that, he gets open shots. And, you know, it allows me to put the ball in a better place and not have to force it, you know. So I think it all works hand to hand, but, you know, he's been flying around and, you know, I've just tried to just make the simple play. If it's not there, just move the ball on. Two more. Yeah, we, we saw the little scuffle between Anderson and, and Henderson. Is, is, was there much of that going on at all today out there? Is that, is that anything you expect to carry over into the, the next couple of games? I didn't even see what happened. I just turned around and saw them going at it. Um, you know, so I'm not sure what happened. I don't really care what happened. I don't think they really care what happened. I don't think it's something that'll carry over into the next game. You know, I think I know Andy's a very classy guy. And from what I know about Drew, I think he's a very classy guy. So what you know, some things take place on the court that you know sometimes you just lose control of. But you know, I know both of those guys will come ready to play in game two. I think we're done. We actually have the, yes, the same question, so we're good to go. Thank you.